The fuel filter is attached to a length of fuel line in the fuel tank. The filter can move freely in the tank, so it stays submerged when the tool is tipped. The filter removes debris from the fuel, so it doesn't enter and clog the carburetor. Over time, the fuel filter will become clogged with debris, which will restrict the flow of fuel to the engine. This can result in an engine that's hard to start, starts and dies, or won't start at all. Replacing the fuel filter is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the gas cap from the gas tank. Next, I'll use a wire hook to fish the fuel filter out of the tank. The fuel filter is secured to the fuel line with a small wire clamp. I'll remove the fuel filter by pulling it away from the fuel line. A screwdriver can help to break the filter free. Now I can install the new fuel filter. I'll insert it into the fuel line, making sure that I keep the wire clamp over the fuel filter's nipple. Once installed, I can place it back into the tank. And that's how easy it is to replace the fuel filter on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.